Well, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, the 14th of November. And I'm just going to take you down to the polytunnel, which is in the little plot at the bottom of my garden. I'll show you what's going on in there. a few things growing in here. Um, we've got garlic, broad beans and um, all year round lettuce which I've sowed. This lettuce was sown on the 31st of October and a little bit leggy but this is the all year round lettuce and also in here we've got all year round lettuce too. In this tray here we have garlic Christo which is a soft neck variety. Uh, planted these up uh, on the 31st of the 10th, 18. They're ready to go down the, the plot once they start poking through at the top. And also a tray here with germidor uh, French garlic which is a soft neck variety which are showing as you can see here. So they'll be transported down to the M9 and M12 allotment plots. In here I've got uh, root trainers, this is the first time I've used root trainers and on the 30th of October I planted up uh, broad beans which is super aquidulce I think it's pronounced and uh, they're just starting to show now. These were planted, as I say, on the 30th of the 10th, and there's two of them just starting to show here. And I think in this uh, root training container, there's uh, one poking through there as well. Oh, and Lois says good morning. <laughs> there she is. She's recovered uh, more or less fully from um, the breaking of pelvis in three places. Um, oh, probably about 14 or 15 weeks ago she was run over uh, by a car not far from our house but she's doing great now. Hello Lois! <laughs> right then that's the broad beans and that's the garlic and uh, that's the Cristo and that is the Germidor garlic. In these pots here uh, you can just see it poking through the top there which is elephant garlic. We also have elephant garlic in this tub as well. You can just see it poking through the top there. And here's elephant garlic again uh, in this container here and also this container here. So we've got four containers with elephant garlic in. This container here, uh, let's just see what when we planted the elephant garlic. The elephant garlic was planted up uh, on the 5th October. When they poke through a little bit more I'll uh, uh, move them outside into the little plot area that we've got outside here. In this container here uh, we've got globe artichoke which I'm starting off in this container and taking down to the plots uh, when that starts showing um, a bit more. Probably stay here till the spring now uh, or just outside and then transport it down to the plots then. 31st of the 10th 2018 that was planted up and no signs of that yet. Hello Lois! Lois! <laughs> in this little pot here I've tried um, taking cuttings from rosemary it was probably about three or four weeks ago there's nothing really happening there at all but there's uh, a bit more successful in the pot next to it the large pot where I've got lavender cuttings around the edge as well uh, tomato is just about surviving so, uh, well, part of it is, and uh, part of it has uh, been hit by the frost. It got down to minus one about two weeks ago in this uh, little polytunnel. I brought some of my geraniums in, so I need to sort those out as well. And some of the fuchsias as well. So, yeah, so this is uh, what's going on in this little polytunnel for now. Uh, We'll go outside. 
This is a 3 meter times 2 meter polytunnel. And right next to it, in this space here, there'll be another 3 meters times 2 meter polytunnel. And this little area is going to be cleared out, and I'm going to have uh, grow sacks with potatoes and things like that in this little space here, which is probably about 12 foot long by about 5, 6 foot wide. So I'm in the process, process of clearing that. So this used to be my little veg plot. Uh, couple of years back, but there's the polytunnel from the outside, and polytunnel number two in the garden plot will go into this section here. Okay then, I'll say bye for now.